Hey everyone, this is Dhruv Bhutani from PhoneRenewer.com bringing you a video review of the Netgear Push to TV. Along with the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean update, Google introduced the concept of wireless display through Miracast to the smartphone market. Google's motive behind the introduction of wireless display technology is to let users stream their content from the device directly to either a TV or a monitor with HDMI input. The Netgear Push to TV works on a similar concept as the Google Chromecast. The Netgear Push to TV is available for US $59 and roughly putting it in Indian rupees it amounts to rupees 3500 which makes it quite a costly purchase. The Push to TV PTV 3000 is compatible with Miracast and Wi-Fi Direct. Let's first check out the design and build of this tiny device. The Netgear Push to TV PTV 3000 is a small box that comes with a mini USB port and an HDMI port at the back. The black box has a Netgear branding at the top and a small LED notification light on the front side. On the right hand side we have a small button which is used to enable WPS that has to be used when upgrading the firmware. Let's see how to get started with setting up the Netgear Push to TV PTV 3000. One of the cool things about this device here is that it is quite easy to get started with it. All you need to do is to connect the mini USB cable at the back of the device and use the charger given with the device to connect it to the power supply. Then using an HDMI cable connect the Netgear's HDMI port to that of the TV. When done correctly the TV would show that your device is ready. Once you see a Netgear screen on the TV along with the name of the push to TV information, then you can go to wireless display settings on your phone or tablet, which is screen mirroring in Samsung and enable it. You will find the push to TV device and once connected, you will automatically be able to view the screen of your phone on the TV. As simple as that. The Netgear PTV 3000 streams both audio and video content. Audio is streamed at up to 5.1 surround sound via HDMI and this gives a total media experience. Let's check out the quality of the stream content. When used to display pictures from the phone, there was no distortion or anything and everything worked as expected. Then we tried streaming videos which were also slightly laggy because of lower bit rates and dropped frames. Gaming was very bad because the content being streamed on the TV seemed a bit behind the actual content on the phone. So playing games using Miracast would not be an ideal option. Overall, the technology is quite good currently for streaming pictures from your handheld device to the TV. But when you want to stream video or gaming content, there's still a long way to go before we achieve high quality streaming. The Netgear Push to TV PTV 3000 is an expensive way to stream data from your phone or tablet to your television. If you enjoyed our video, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.